Everything is going great with my Bobcat Helium Miner. Make the most helium I've ever made in a single day. And then a couple days later, bam, zero. Making nothing. And of course, I freak out. I go onto the diagnoser tool for Bobcat. That is where I saw I was out of sync with the blockchain. When I first got the miner itself, of course, there was a syncing period. When you buy it, you need to basically get all the transactions that have been on the blockchain. That way, you're up to speed. But when I saw that I was out of sync and I haven't had this issue, for the months that I've owned it, I was a little confused. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to fast sync your miner. That way you can catch up to the blockchain and get back to earning. Or you can do this now when you initially set up your miner and have an even faster sync so you can start earning even faster. First of all, to understand the problem, you have to understand block height. So as a blockchain gets longer and longer and more transactions get appended, the block height increases over time. So when there's a gap between where your miner's at and the block height, that is sinking. So you're trying to catch up to the blockchain with all the transactions that have happened on Helium. And with the Bobcat, you get this diagnoser tool, which all you have to do is type in your IP address for the miner itself up here in the browser. And for those of you that are wondering how to get that IP address, you go into the Helium app, go to your actual miner, and then click on this little cogwheel. It'll bring up this pop-up hotspot settings. And what you do is you go to the bottom and you click to run diagnostics. So you pair your miner and run diagnostics from your Helium app itself. And you'll see the miner IP that you can use and insert that IP address into the browser. Once you do that, you'll be taken to this diagnoser tool. You'll see the name of your miner. And right here is where you see the sync status. So if you're out of sync or you're syncing, you will see this be yellow. So when you click this, you'll see the pop-up say status is synced and you can see that my gap is minus two. So my minor height is caught up with the blockchain. Now down here, I also took a screenshot of when I ran this for that period where I was showing zero earnings and my gap was 4,406 blocks. I was in the status of syncing, meaning I wasn't allowed to earn any helium while this was going on. Now I don't have a full understanding understanding of why I was out of sync because like I said, I've been mining for months and this is the first time I got out of sync with the blockchain. According to some troubleshooting guides, it basically says slow internet connection, your validator is disconnecting, or you just launched an AMI instance. So I'm not entirely sure because I have an ethernet cable. So my internet connection was fine. I mean, I didn't have my internet go down or anything. So honestly, I'm not sure if this has any connection with the recent update that the Helium network went through, which if you're not familiar, there was a release of a proof of coverage update version 11. So it essentially changed the witness selection from being a max of 25 to 10. And now instead of the fastest witness, it's basically more of a lottery system or a random person that's picked in order to be a witness or a beacon. So maybe that screwed it up. I honestly don't know. But the whole point of this video is to talk about how to fix that gap and make it from 4,000 obviously to zero and making your miner sink again so you can start earning helium. So on September 10th, Bob Bobcat actually released an over-the-air update allowing for fast sync. So that's the feature we're going to be talking about. There seems to be two ways that you can do the fast sync. Now it's part of the diagnoster tool, but I actually followed these instructions in order to fast sync my miner. The first thing is go to the search bar, type in CMD, and open this command prompt. Once that's open, you're going to take this command right here and essentially replace this portion from the arrow to the arrow with your IP address, which we talked about earlier. So the same thing that you typed into your browser, you're going to put that in as the IP address. You're going to copy that. You're going to go back to the command prompt and you're just going to drop that in. So you're going to paste that. This portion here is going to be your IP address of the miner itself. Once you have that typed out or copied in, then that's when you just hit enter. It's going to probably pause for a second. Don't freak out. Just hit enter once. Let it calculate a little bit. And essentially it will say, now your miner is syncing faster. Just leave the power on. So don't touch your miner. Don't close out of the command prompt, don't do anything, just click that enter and just let it do its thing. After waiting about 10 minutes is when I went back and checked the sync status. Now, when I did that, it didn't go down to zero immediately. It brought me back to a gap of around 1700, I wanna say. So it took me from over 4,000 back to 1700. So that's another thing to keep in mind. I don't know if it works exactly the same for everyone, but essentially it took down from waiting probably a couple days to sync 
to probably about eight hours for me to sync after getting to that 1700 level. Now, they also have incorporated a fast sync button, which I didn't use myself. But if you click this, it will basically prompt you to run a similar situation with the fast sync. The lesson for me after this situation is to definitely check your sync status if you notice the earnings go down to zero. If you don't have earnings for six hours or something, well, maybe that's just chance. But if it's a couple days or a day and you're used to earning helium every single day, that's when I would go check that sync status on the diagnoser tool just to make sure. And if there's a huge gap, we're talking over 2000 blocks, that's when you can run the fast sync and catch back up to the correct block height and start earning helium again. If you learned something in today's video or it helped you out, make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to Main Street Wolf where we talk cryptocurrency, investing, anything to do with money. Thanks guys for watching and have a great day.